Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. I am so happy to be vlogging today. I'm in like such a good mood. Um, I haven't vlogged in probably like two and a half weeks. So like I said, today is Saturday. Um, and I'm going to a bridal shower this morning, well, this afternoon, and I'm so excited. So my one of my best friends, Yasmin, her sister, her older sister is getting married, and I'm literally so happy for this girl. Like, when I found out um, that she was getting engaged and, like, getting married, I was, like, literally so happy. I just went and made my greens really quick. These are from Bloom, and I use the mango flavor. It is so yummy a lot of greens powder that i've tried like it tastes so bad that you like can't even swallow it but i look forward to drinking this one and i drink it every morning it usually like on the way to the gym but since i'm not working out today i'm just like drinking it while i'm getting ready but you definitely like see best results if you're consistent with it and you take it daily but it is a gut health supplement so it helps with things like clearing your skin and giving you more energy it also helps with like bloating and digestion but they're just like really easy to drink because they taste so good Okay, so let's get into this skincare because I don't want to be like running out of time and rushing. I actually just realized I need to run through the shower. So I'm going to do that and then we'll do some skincare. This is my favorite body product. You guys, if you have not tried this yet, trust me, it is incredible. It's a L'Occitane Almond Shower Oil. Mm, it makes your skin so soft and it smells amazing. You just like feel so luxurious when you use it in the shower. So I mean, if you've never used a shower oil before, it's like a mix of a body oil and a body wash. So it comes out of the bottle as an oil, but whenever you mix it with water, it like turns into like a milky substance. I'm giving this Clarins Serum a try. Is there Double serum. I just used it for the first time last night. So for outfits, I have like two dresses to choose from. I really want to wear some color because we are entering uh, summer, ladies. I almost said spring. We're entering summer, and you know, I just need to wear some color. So I have a um, orange dress that I wore in Mexico like two years ago, and then I have a green dress from veiled that i never wore so i'm going to show you guys both obviously you won't be able to help me choose but um i think i might end up going with the green one i just haven't tried it on yet so if it fits nicely then i'm going to wear the green here are the options um the orange one i would have to like close it a little bit in the front because it's kind of low but i have some fashion tape so that would be easy and this one is midi but this is fully maxi you can't really see it very well let me hang it up okay here it is you can see it a little better it's fully maxi um i'm just worried that it's a little big so it might look kind of like it has no shape but we're gonna try it on and see i think the sleeves are really pretty and the color is gorgeous so i'm hoping that this fits properly okay so here it is on i just don't think it's like doing me much justice it just like doesn't really have a shape so it, like it kind of looks like a nightgown uh, I don't think I'm gonna wear this yeah we're definitely gonna go with the orange I just went ahead and did my hair and makeup off camera it took me literally 30 minutes to do this bun I was trying to do like the Sophia Richie um, bun that she wore for her wedding like the twisted thing but I have like way too much hair and it just like doesn't twist right I'm sure girls with thick hair can like relate but like my hair is not giving today it's just like the front looks good, but the back and everything is just not cute. So I'm like, okay, don't look at me from the back. Just <laughs> look at the front. Um, did my makeup. Let's go in some more natural lighting. And this is just like my typical glam that I always do. And I want to share with you guys my new favorite lip combo. And this is saying a lot for me because I have been ride or die for my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner for like two and a half years. And that's literally all I would wear. But I found something I think I like better. Um, it's the Refi Lip Liner in the shade Taupe. And this is what it looks like. The tone is very similar to Iconic Nude, but it doesn't like come off as easily. I feel like this is more long-lasting and I like the formula better. It's like more creamy. And I have just been like reaching for this all week. And I think it's going to be like my new favorite. And then I mix it with the Makeup by Mario 
moisture glow lip serum in the shade rose glow and the combo together gives like the most gorgeous lip like this is just my favorite color let me show you guys it's like a pink it's like more pinky but mixed with the lip liner it makes the perfect color these are my new summer go-to's um i will link them down below but i gotta go get dressed and i'm having second thoughts about the orange dress i don't know why so i'm thinking i might wear this um nude skirt from dish i like already steamed it so we're gonna see what i can pair it with but my problem is like all of my like dresses and stuff are white and i'm obviously not gonna wear that to a bridal shower i'd never be that girl um so i just like don't have too many options Let's get this light on Hello. okay here's the skirt um i actually haven't worn it out yet i've only ever like taken photos with it so let me show you guys here it is it's like a satin maxi it's like a really pretty like pearly um champagne and then it has a little tie but these are like hard for me to style because i never know like what tops to wear so i'm just gonna try it on okay i just tried it on with this white top but i just realized like i think this is too bridal like i just don't ever want to be that person that's like wow why did she wear that i don't know like i know it's champagne and like the top is like it's still white so I think this is cute, but I just, I don't think I should wear it. We're just in the middle of an outfit crisis. I was trying on so many dresses and like nothing was looking cute. So I know I was hating on this veiled dress, but I was like, let me just give it another shot. And I actually think it's really cute. Let me show you in the mirror. I feel like sometimes when you try outfits on without hair and makeup, like you can't really get the full effect. Like it's not my favorite dress ever, but I think it'll do. Um, I threw on these hoops they're like bigger than what i normally would wear they're from lily class but i just wanted something like a little bit more of a statement and i just have like a really thin gold chain on my rings um i'm wearing these nude heels you can see they're vince camuto and i need a bag it is 11:50. you know arab girls are always late anyways i'm usually like sorry i'm trying to open the door i know this is a really unflattering angle but i only have two hands um usually i'm one of the earlier ones so i think we're doing good on time y'all i cleaned out my car yesterday i vacuumed it i went through the car wash i like um wiped down all the surfaces and it feels so good i used to be really good about keeping my car clean but i don't know i feel like it's just hard okay when you're a busy girl like you just don't have time, but it feels so much better. Okay, let's go. Okay, we made it. I had to park super far away. They're like super busy. It's at a restaurant, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be in like a private room. And it is really hot out today. It's like 80 degrees. And this dress is kind of like sweater material. So I'm already sweating, which is not good. Let's go. Finished with the bridal shower. It was so fun to just see all the girls um, eat some yummy food. And now we're back home. It's like four o'clock. Stayed way longer than I thought. But I had to get a coffee on the way home because I thought they would have coffee at brunch, but I wanted like an iced coffee. Mm. Mm-hmm. So this is a grande iced decaf on milk latte i just get decaf because caffeine can give me anxiety and then i do one pump of vanilla and i add the cinnamon dolce sprinkles you, i'll do the cinnamon dolce because it's like cinnamon and sugar mixed together and it's like so delicious mm -hmm. but i just got off the phone with Osama 
and he was telling me that he got this new machine it's called the almond cow and like you can make all kinds of like nut milks and like oat milk with this machine it's really fresh milk and i'm so excited because we're going to start doing like all of our like almond milks oat milk um he did like cashew milk and i'm so excited because then it doesn't have like all the additives and like extra stuff that like the one the plant-based milks that you like buy from the grocery store because they have to like add things so that they're preserved properly But I'm so excited for that. And this coffee is really yummy. It is so hot today in Texas. Like normally it doesn't start to get really hot until like at least June. But it's like beginning of May and it is scorching. And I love living in Texas, but this is the only downside. It's like the summers are really, really hot. So I'm going to go inside because I am sweating. Hello, you guys. Happy Sunday. It is the next day. Oh my gosh. Don't even look, <laughs> it's so bad. Um, I just got dressed and ready because me and my parents are going to Dallas today to look at some furniture stores and I'm really excited. I'm not buying anything today. Um, I just wanna like look at some things I've seen online and just look at like different colors and textures and I feel like furniture is one of those things like honestly, you really need to see it in person. It's really hard to tell online, especially when you're spending that much money like you want to make sure you like it so we're gonna go to like restoration hardware pottery barn crate and barrel um our house and just honestly whatever we have time for i'm gonna like try to cram in as much as possible and i'm so excited to take you guys with me um i'm wearing just like a super casual outfit because i really just wanted to be comfortable these are my aritzia effortless pants um a little adidas sweatshirt and then this is an Amazon bag and we're just gonna throw on some sneakers and we'll be ready to go. So we're at Crate and Barrel. I'm just looking around at a few things and I love these dining chairs. It's like this really pretty wood. It's neutral fabric. Those are beautiful. I also really like these dining chairs. They're kind of similar except for this is like a boucle material. It's the same as the white couch that I have and it's a different shape, but these are really pretty too. I'm looking at their dinnerware because I'm planning on getting it from here, and this is the collection that I like. It's called the Mercer, and my sisters both have this. Lena got it first, and then Amanda got it because she liked it so much, and I think I'm gonna get the same one. Um, I like it because it's a little bit more like organic looking. All of the plates and like bowls and everything, they're kind of like um, not all the same shape. This is like a little salad plate. They're like super, shallow and i just love like the texture of them and they're really pretty i don't really like matte plates i definitely want something with some shine but yeah this is it it's called the mercer collection i just wanted to look at it one more time in person but i'm definitely gonna order it online i think we're gonna head out of crate and barrel because i pretty much looked at everything i wanted to here um, we're gonna go to pottery barn which is right across the street and restoration hardware my cute parents <laughs> just chilling, waiting on me. <laughs> Alright, so we're at Pottery Barn now, and this is actually one of the beds I was looking at online. It's a canopy bed, and it just helps to like see it in person. This is a queen size, so obviously ours would be king. But these are like metal poles, which I think I might prefer wood. Okay, here's another canopy bed. I like this one better, not necessarily the color, but I think the wooden ones are prettier. They just look a little bit more like substantial, but I would like this in like a darker toned wood. I just don't really love the light wood. This, this is a nice couch. Yeah, maybe even bigger than this. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, I think we're probably gonna get a sectional, so I just wanna look at some couches, but this one's nice. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, that is nice. Yeah. Mm. I like this color. That's pretty. With those colors I love that, together. But dark and white. Yeah, but they're like a dark like this. wood. Yes. And that. <laughs> oh, those are really pretty. Pillows. 
not much luck today. I don't know. Just wasn't really feeling anything I saw, but we're gonna head to Restoration Hardware after this because there was some more stuff from there that I really wanted to look at, so I feel like that'll be more useful. Ready? Yes, ma'am. We're about to head into Restoration Hardware, my favorite place, and we're actually gonna eat dinner there tonight too. Okay, we're in Restoration Hardware now. Here is another canopy bed, and I think, yeah, this is a king size, so I feel like it's easier to like visualize. And I love the wooden holes. I feel like this one just looks better quality. I'm gonna send some pictures to Sam and see if he likes this one. I also really want to invest in some uh, like really good nightstands and I love the ones in Restoration Hardware because they're really big. I feel like they're very substantial and they just like make a statement in the room. So I think we're gonna be looking at some more nightstands today. Um, this one isn't exactly my favorite, but I just love the size and like how chunky they are. Just got off FaceTime with Zama because I really wanted to show him his bed and he really likes it too. Okay, looking at some more nightstands. I really like this one. Not exactly the, the color, but I like that it has like one big drawer and then like some space underneath so you can do like books or like little knickknacks. Okay, this is not necessarily my style, but look how gorgeous this is. I was looking at these nightstands that I like too, but I feel like they're all like running together. They all look the same, but I like um, the big drawers. I know I said I liked the other ones because they had that space at the bottom where you could put like books and stuff, but these are nice too. One thing I really like that Restoration Hardware does really nicely is they always place like the mirror on the wall behind the nightstand and I think it's like such a nice setup. It just makes the room look much bigger. Easy way to just like elevate the room and I think maybe we'll do something similar. Okay, hello you guys. I am back home. Finally, I feel like it was such a long day. Um, I took all my makeup off. Got into my pajamas, I have my Stanley, and I wanted to give you guys a little update on how the day went. So um, we started first looking at, I think Crate, yeah, Crate and Barrel. Um, I wasn't really interested in looking at any of their furniture. Um, I really just wanted to look at their dinnerware, which I did show you guys. It's the Mercer collection, and I do think I'm gonna get it. I just need to like order it online. And I think I'm gonna get um, their silverware too. We're starting from scratch, so we literally have nothing. So I at least wanna have like some bowls, plates, cups, um, things like that, the necessities. And then we went to Pottery Barn, and there were like a few beds that I had seen online that I really wanted to like look at in person. There was like a canopy bed that I wanted to look at, which I showed you guys. It was the one with the metal poles, which I didn't really end up liking. I didn't really have anything else in store that I really liked, so that wasn't very helpful. But then we went to Restoration Hardware, and I knew I wanted to look there because there was a couple beds that I was interested in, and I really want to get nightstands from there. I just think they are so beautiful because um, they're really large, and I just think it makes like a huge um, like statement in the room. They just look really, really beautiful. So those were a couple things I wanted to look at. And of course, like you walk in and you just fall in love with everything because of the way they have it displayed. It's like set up in the most beautiful way possible. And there's like no way that you won't like fall in love with a few pieces. So um, there was a fabric bed that I was interested in looking at, which I did see. And it wasn't anything like... I was super excited about like it was pretty I think I got a clip of it at the end but I was recording like the whole store time I was in the store I was recording like no problem and then towards the end there was the fabric bed that I wanted to show you guys and this lady walks by and she's like oh you can't record in here at professional photography and I was like oh okay she's like only iPhone content or whatever you can only use your phone I'm like okay well I'll just vlog with my phone I didn't say that, but I'm like, okay. I just think that's a stupid rule. Um, I mean, I guess it's their policy, but anyways, that just like kind of put me in a bad mood and I stopped vlogging after that. But the very first bed that I saw, the canopy bed that I showed you guys, 
I fell in love with it. So me and Usama had kind of talked about um, getting a canopy bed. That was like our first idea. And we just like wanted to look at some in person and like see them like for, for what they really are. Because I feel like furniture, like you really need to see it in person. It's not like clothes where you can just like buy it and like, you know, hope that it turns out like furniture you need to be for sure. So it was just really important that I went and looked at it in person. But um, this canopy bed was so beautiful. I loved the combination of the wood and the fabric bed frame. I just thought it looked so nice together. The display had like a lighter colored wood, like a gray color, but I think I'm gonna do like a really dark, not the black, because they do have a black, but I think I'm gonna do like the dark oak. And then for the fabric, um, like back of the bed frame they have a ton of different options it's kind of like overwhelming because there's so much to choose from but i think the color that was on the display was like a i wrote it down it was like linen and beige or something but i really liked that color so i don't want to make like any final decisions just yet i want to make sure i like look through all of um, the furniture sites and just make sure that that is the one that i want because we kind of need to um, make these decisions fast so i don't know if i mentioned this but our our moving date like our lease starts on june 1st and that's when usama is going to move in um so i kind of want him to like at least have a bed like if he doesn't have a bed on Ju june 1st it's fine like he can just put the mattress on the floor and like that'll be fine for you know when up till whenever the bed comes in okay sorry my camera and out of storage but anyways I'm just basically trying to say that my main priority is getting a bed so I need to make a, deci a decision on that pretty fast and then everything else can kind of wait it's not like super urgent and as for the nightstands I still am not sure like which style I want there's like a bunch to choose from there's like ones with like three drawers and then one with like one drawer and then the bottom is like open so you can put like little books and knickknacks on it and I think that's the style that I'm leaning towards. There's also um, different like finishes of the wood. There's like a glossy one and one that's like matte but the matte kind of like scratches easier and if we're going to have these um, nightstands basically forever, <laughs> if we're spending that much money on them we better keep them forever. Um, I feel like they, those can get messed up a little bit easier. So we're just like going to have to make some decisions but I feel like the trip was successful because I feel so much better after like seeing them in person and now I know what like the color of the wood looks like and like the fabric and like the quality so I'm really happy that I went and like saw everything but yeah those are all of the updates it was super fun though like I am loving this new like home decor chapter I think it's so much fun and I feel like it's gonna be like a new passion of mine i'm really excited so it is sunday night it's probably like 10 o'clock but i like to sit down at the end of the week and plan my week ahead so that i can just like stay organized and i like have written down everything that i need to do um so i'm gonna do that I actually have a really busy week ahead i have like meeting with my wedding planner and just like lots and lots of things going on so i'm excited but it definitely is going to be a busy week so i'm gonna go do that and then edit this vlog um, and I need to make sure I sign up for my workout class in the morning because I will be going to F45 in the morning. Um, I'm trying to like be really consistent with my workouts. I just feel better when I'm like on a routine and I love the 8.30 time because it's early enough but not like too early. And then I can just like come home and get straight into work and I feel like I have a really productive day that way. But anyways, I love you guys so much and I will see y'all in the next vlog. Bye guys. Thank you.